Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a few just general tips and tricks. Um, pretty random video, but I know, but um, hopefully a few things that will help you improve your game. So, tip number one is make your maps big. No one likes little tiny maps that you have to keep scrolling through map after map after map. They're boring. Make big maps. So as you can see, this is one town that I created. It take it took um, it did take uh, a couple hours, but you know I think it was worth it. Um, this is a forest, as you can see. Also, big map. Um, tip number two is it seems pretty simple, but I think it's effective. Um, is link your paths. So as you can see, that is on. 21000 and as you can see my path down here leading to that is also 22 so a little bit out of line there but never mind they're pretty close so yeah just like link your paths up um, tip number three I guess is mini games so in mine I've got fishing in my cave, I have a little puzzle game. Um, so yeah, mini games, which leads me to tip number four: mazes. No RPG will be complete without a, a cave maze. So I've made this little quick, crappy one to show you. Well, I'll say little. It's still a um, hundred by seventy. But yeah. Um, just a quick minute, and this really didn't take long. This took maybe 15, 20 minutes. It didn't take long at all. Um, and just to finish it off, uh, add a little bit of detail. So I've got a waterfall, um, different heights, and terrains. Um, this, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be shading or long grass. I use it as long grass. I think it's quite effective as long grass this darker green, I don't know if you can see that, maybe that's a bit better this dark green, I use it as um, longer grass, I use it on all my maps as you can see here we've got some we've got some there I think it just makes it a bit more interesting, so I've got a patch there um, what else, what else, what else oh yeah, uh, um, little animal pens in my town so like uh, in my town I got this little farming area so I put animals in um, pens which made it a little bit more interesting um, town maps I do I also have town maps um, so yeah this is my picture as you can see the picture of the map that I took using print screen um, and when you press on the town map it shows you that Another little tip is when you're bored of um, a section so you don't know where to take your game from now create a big ship as you can see I've created a big ship here and this is going to take me to another part of the game so if you want to make a desert area and you don't know how to get to the desert area you don't know how to merge the map into a desert just take a boat just sail there, sail to the desert as you can see, you've got a big boat here. Um, you could spend a little bit of time on the boat, go inside. When you come back out, you could be there. Um, what else do I have for you? Um, I think that's about it for this. Oh, one last thing. Add music to your game. I shall show you. As you can see, music. It seems pretty boring, but you know, it's got to be better than no music at all. Oh, a little glitch there. Next tip: walk around your towns, for look out for glitches. Um, there you go. Detail. Always adding little little bits of detail everywhere. Um. Also, don't be afraid to add dead ends. There's nothing wrong with walking the wrong way. 
As you can see walking the wrong way. There's nothing wrong with walking the wrong way at all. It just means walking back. And instead of making it just a random dead end like I have here, add a little chest. So, as you can see, you walk down this path, walk across the bridge. It looks like the right way, but it leads to a chest. There's nothing else down here, so you have to walk back. Um, just makes the game a little bit longer um, and a little bit more interesting, I think. And I think that about ties it up for this um, tips and tricks video. Um, hopefully, I'll be back with part two of this video when I've created more of my game. So um, keep in touch.